Hey there, this is Neil from Semantic. And right now we've got 12 guides available to help you drive results on your website. Uh, the idea being that they'll help you fix key issues, learn and develop your skills, and optimize some of the things that you might not have thought about before. So this is guide number eight, and it's about uh, helping to optimize some of your content, in particular, the images and videos. So obviously, um, they always say a picture says a thousand words, and we think videos are even more powerful than that. And actually, we know from a lot of our split testing that videos, when done properly on home pages, can help drive those sales and drive the revenue online as well. So this guide split down into three sections. Uh, we've got some basic image checklists to follow uh, and video checklists. Um, so we'd always recommend you get a professional photographer or videographer in um, to get real, really nice pictures and assets, um, you know, whether you run an attraction or um, something else, like a restaurant or a hotel or a spa, any of those kind of things, or a sports team. Get the professionals in, get some really good photography and assets. And if you can, try and get um, whatever professional you use on some kind of retainer or plan in a couple of different sessions with them so they can come at various times of the year and cover different seasons so you're not kind of scrabbling around at the last minute trying to get some Christmas photos together or something. Just try and build up that bank of assets. Um, and we've helped um, clients with asset banks and image banks as well. So that's, that's a good way of gathering all that stuff together and making it shareable. Um, the other main question we get asked all the time with new websites is how big should images be or how big should videos be? What format should they be in? Um, and nowadays, really, if you're using a modern content management system, modern CMS, um, it should do most of the heavy lifting for you. So in terms of images, we always just say go for the highest quality you can, get a good mix of wide images uh, versus kind of cropped in images, because generally on a website you'd use it in lots of different places um, and it can end up being lots of different crops. So uh, the size of image that works on a big desktop monitor compared to a small portrait phone is obviously very different. Same with videos, so try and just think about having enough breathing room at the edges so that the, the focal points in the middle can really stand out. Um, Format-wise, it doesn't really matter at all. Uh, any modern image or video format should be fine. The other interesting thing on videos is obviously thinking about how long they should be. Um, going back to what we said in the last guide, uh, users don't like to think so, and patience is very, very limited online, so just keep it really snappy, brief, um, and just as long as you need in order to sell what you're trying to sell. Um, that's the rule of thumb. Uh, and then the only other thing really is the hosting, so try and think about, you know, you're gonna host the video yourself within your CMS, um, which then can incur quite expensive data costs, depending on what uh, what hosting you use. Uh, if you're on a cloud provider, it would certainly rank, rack up the, uh, the data bill. Um, normally, if you just uh, upload it to somewhere like Vimeo or YouTube, then the embedding options are flexible enough now that we can do all kinds of magic and make the videos come to life as well. So um, anyway, that's, uh, that's everything. Uh, oh, and then the content management system pitfalls at the end is all around um, just looking at what kinds of things your CMS does automatically for you. So this is the last section of this guide. Um, so all the ones we build, they optimize images for you. They churn out kind of 30 different versions of an image all automatically. Um, so there's a few simple checks I've put in this guide to make sure that your CMS is doing that for you as well. Um, and if it isn't, then how you can um, do some quick wins to get around it. Um, great, cool. Well, hopefully that's useful. Let us know how you get on. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, give us a shout if you've got any questions and uh, see you in the next guide. Thanks.